Hello everyone. We are back to see how to make a weave design, draft and peg plan for bedford cords using plain weave but this time on alternate picks. In the previous video, we had seen how to construct bedford cords on plain weave on a pair of picks. So the only difference is in the previous video it was on a pair of picks and here it is going to be on alternate picks. So if you remember the basic concepts, the basic concepts remain the same. So we have the cutting threads, one on either side and two in the center. We have four face threads on one side and four face threads on the other side. So let's get started. We will first mark plain weave, one up, one down on the cutting threads. So I am marking it on the first cutting thread. The two threads in the center are going to have the same weave design as the first one, which is one up, one down, one up, one down. The next one will be opposite of the first yarn. And the last cutting thread is going to be an opposite of the first cutting thread here, which is going to be one down and one up. Now, moving ahead, the next thing that we are supposed to be doing is marking the long floats on the face threads. Now, as we remember, in the previous video, we have seen that the long float on the first set of face threads gets marked on the first and the second pick. And in the second set, it gets marked on the third and the fourth pick. So basic concept being that wherever you have a long float on the first set, you do not have a long float on the second set. So here, since we are working on alternate picks, I will mark the long float also on alternate picks. So here I have marked on the first. Now my alternate number is going to be on the third. So I am marking it on the third pick. So I have marked a long float on my first pick and my third pick. Now in the second set, I do not want the long floats on the same picks. So I am going to mark the long floats here on my second pick and on my fourth pick. So in a pair of picks, it's first and second, third and fourth. So alternate picks, it's going to be first and third for the first set and second and fourth for the second set. So this is as far as the long floats are concerned. Moving ahead, we also need to mark the plain weave. So to mark the plain weave, now we are going to consider the second pick and the fourth pick as the two yarns where our plain weave is supposed to be placed. So marking on the second pick, second warp, I mark one up and the next one is going to be one down. Likewise, on the second face yarn, my plain weave will be marked directly on the fourth yarn because here I'm going to mark one down and one up here. Next yarn, I'm going to be marking the same as the first face yarn, one up on the second pick and the last face yarn of the first set, I'll mark one up here on the fourth pick so that you get a proper plain weave on alternate picks. Coming down here to the second set, I'm going to mark the plain weave on alternate yarns in a similar way on the first and the third pick, just like I have marked it on the second and the fourth pick here. So starting here, I mark one up and my third pick is going to be one down. Second face yarn of the second set, it's going to be one down and then one up on the third pick. Next one is going to be one up and the last face yarn is going to be one up, one down and one up on the third pick. So this is how you will see your uh, plain weave on alternate picks. As far as the drafting order is concerned, the drafting order remains similar to the plain weave on pair of picks. Just like we did before, we will place the cutting yarns in the first two harnesses, the first set of the face yarns in the next two harnesses and the second set of the face yarns in the fifth and the sixth harness. So let's get marking. So my first cutting yarn, 
this is my second cutting yarn my third cutting yarn and fourth cutting yarn goes into the second harness so first and second cutting yarn into the first harness third and the fourth cutting yarn into the second harness moving ahead with my face threads i'm going to mark my face threads now if we observe carefully the first and the third face yarn is moving in the same order whereas my second and the fourth face yarn follows the same interlacement order so i will mark my first face yarn which is the second warp and the th third face yarn which is my fourth warp in the third harness and i will mark the other two in the fourth harness second set of face yarns the first and the third face yarn goes to the fifth harness and my second and fourth face yarn will in turn go to the sixth harness as we can see their interlacement orders are identical to mark the peg plan we follow a similar order first and the second yarn is going to be the interlacement order of my cutting yarns which is the first yarn is one up one down one up one down and the second yarn is one down one up one down one up moving up next i have my face yarns the third harness has the second and the fourth warp yarn which is the first and the third face yarn of the first set where the interlacement order is 3 up and 1 down the second and the fourth face yarn of the first set have an interlacement of order of 1 up 1 down and 2 up the second set of face yarns the first and the third yarn have the order of 2 up 1 down and 1 up and the last face yarn that is the second and the fourth face yarns have the interlacement order of 1 down and 3 up so here you can see the weave design draft and the peg plan for bed four cords on plain weave which is constructed on alternate picks thank you